In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the information on pages PowerPoint 30 and 31, in which we're going to convert text to SmartArt. After watching this video, you should be able to create a SmartArt graphic and modify the SmartArt design. Sometimes when you are working with text, it doesn't capture your attention, no matter how you dress it up with color or other formatting attributes. The ability to convert text to a SmartArt graphic increases your ability to create dynamic looking text. A SmartArt graphic is a professional quality diagram that visually illustrates text. There are eight categories or types of SmartArt graphics that incorporate graphics to illustrate text differently. For example, you can show steps in a process or timeline, show proportional relationships, or show how parts relate to a whole. You can create a SmartArt graphic from scratch or create one by converting existing text you have entered on a slide with a few simple clicks of the mouse. On page PowerPoint 30, let's take a look now at step one. And on step one, it tells us that we want to click the slide three thumbnail, and this is where we have the Atlantic Regions Tour Package. And then it tells us that we want to click Adventure in the text object. So we're just going to click anywhere in here. And then next, it tells us that we want to then click the Convert to SmartArt Graphic button in the Paragraph group. So we go up to our Home tab here, and here's our Paragraph group, and here is our Convert to SmartArt button. And when we click on that, we notice that a gallery of SmartArt graphic layouts opens. As with many features in PowerPoint, you can preview how your text will look prior to applying the SmartArt graphic layout by using PowerPoint's Live Preview feature. You can review each SmartArt graphic layout and see how it changes the appearance of the text. And that's what we're going to do in step two, which tells us that we're going to move our mouse pointer around. And of course, when we do this, over the different SmartArt graphic layouts in the gallery, we'll notice that how the text changes and how it appears in our window or in our slide. Now notice how the text becomes part of the graphic and how the color and the font changes each time as you move uh, the pointer over a different graphic layout. SmartArt graphic names appear as screen tips, which we see that in this case we have the hierarchy list. In step three, it tells us that now we want to click the vertical picture accent list layout. So we go through here and we have the vertical bulleted list, the vertical block list, and here is the vertical picture accent list. It's in the first row, but the third column. So we're going to click on this. And of course now, a smart art graphic appears on the slide in place of the text object and a new SmartArt Tools Design tab opens up on the ribbon, which is right up here. Of course, we have the Design tab, and we also have the Format tab for our SmartArt Tools. Now, a SmartArt graphic consists of two parts. First is the SmartArt graphic itself, and then also, second, a text pane where you type and edit text. Now, this graphic also has placeholders where you can add pictures to the SmartArt graphic. Now, if you run into some trouble, uh, if the text pane does not open, uh, which in this case, uh, you may see it on page um, PowerPoint 31, figure B-5 uh, on there, if it doesn't open like it did not open on mine, we can always go through there and click on the text pane control on the SmartArt graphic as well on there, or you can go up here to the create graphic up here and click on text pane, and here is where your text pane will be at. Uh, where you can actually go ahead and insert in your text pane. On step four, it tells us that we want to click on each bullet point in the text pane. So when we go through there and click on each bullet point, one by one, and then it tells us that we want to click on the text pane control button uh, on there. So we go through there and click on each of these different ones. And then right here is the text pane control button. When we click on that text pane control button, notice that our text pane disappears. And there's a way to make it reappear and disappear. So there's a couple different ways that you can make your text pane appear. Now, of course, it says notice that each time you select a bullet point in that text pane, a selection box appears around the text object in the SmartArt graphic. The text pane control opens and closes the text pane. 
You can also open and close the text pane using the text pane button in the Create Graphics group. In step 5, it tells us that we want to click the More button in the Layouts group. So we have our Layouts group here for our Design tab, and here is the More button. When we click on the More button on here, we have more layout options. And then down at the bottom, we now want to click on More Layouts. And this, uh, to open up, the Choose a Smart Art Graphic dialog box is what is going to open up. This will give you more uh, options of Smart Art Graphics. And now what we want to choose, we want to click on Relationship. And then we want to go through and scroll through and find the basic VIN layout icon. And of course we can take a look through here and you can scroll up and down through here and try to find what the basic VIN diagram uh, would appear like. Uh, of course, uh, this is, uh, of course we have interconnected rings, uh, but here is our basic VIN diagram right here. Uh, once we select this option right here, we just want to click on this one right here. And of course this shows us here just a sample and it shows us a little bit of a description here. But we want to click on OK. And when we click on OK, we notice that the Smart Art graphic changes to the new graphic layout. Now you can radically change how the Smart Art graphic looks by applying a Smart Art style. Now, SmartArt Style is a preset combination of simple and 3D formatting options that follow the presentation theme. Of course, a quick tip as well, text objects in the SmartArt graphic can be moved and edited like any other object in PowerPoint. In step 6, it tells us that now we want to move our mouse pointer slowly over the styles in the SmartArt Styles group. So we have our different styles up here. So we're going to move our mouse pointer slowly over through here and take a look at some of the different styles that we can see in the group. Once we do that and we reach over here, we do want to end up clicking on the More button. And we can see that there are some different options. We have the Best Match for the Document and we also have some 3D options. And of course a live preview of each style is displayed on the SmartArt graphic. The Smart Art styles are organized into two sections. The top group offers suggestions for the best match for the document, and the bottom group shows you all of the possible 3D styles that are available. In step 7, it tells us that we want to move our mouse pointer over the styles in the gallery, and then finally we want to choose the cartoon one, which is this one right here. It's the third one in the 3D group. Um, on there, so if we move our mouse pointer there, it should say cartoon in the screen tip. And when we click on that, we now notice that this style adds a black outline and shading to each object to achieve the 3D effect. And of course, another quick tip as well, you can always click the convert button in the reset group, then click convert to text. Uh, to revert the smart art graphic back to a standard text object. So just because you convert this to a um, smart art graphic does not mean that it's always going to be a smart art graphic. Finally, in step eight, it tells us that we want to click on a blank area of the slide outside of the smart art graphic. Usually in one of the corners is where I usually like to click at. And that's going to deselect it. And then finally, you can go ahead and save your work. Now on page PowerPoint 31, there's some, uh, a paragraph talking about choosing smart art graphics. Now when choosing a smart art graphic to use on your slide, remember that you want the smart art graphic to communicate the message of the text effectively. Not every smart art graphic layout achieves that goal. You must consider the type of text you want to illustrate. For example, does the text show steps in a process? Does it show a continual process? or does it show a non-sequential information? The answer to this question will dictate the type of smart art graphic layout you should choose. Also, the amount of text you want to illustrate will have an effect on the smart art graphic layout you choose as well. Most of the time, key points will be in text you use in a smart art graphic. Finally, some smart art graphic layouts are limited by the number of shapes they can accommodate, so be sure to choose a graphic layout that can illustrate your text appropriately. Experiment with smart art graphic layouts until you find the right one, and have fun in the process. 
And that concludes the information that's on pages 30 and 31 in which we converted text to SmartArt. In the next video, we're going to be inserting and modifying shapes.